In this video, we are going to cover the first part of indirect measurement, part one. So real quick, some review. We're going to talk about the parts of a triangle, all right? Remember, um, this is a right triangle. It has a 90-degree angle. The base is NO, all right? And altitude is just the height. Remember, it goes from the vertex of one of the, of one of the vertices, and it attaches to the base at a 90-degree angle, okay? That's the height. Um, and then the height also is PM, okay? In the acute triangle, same thing right here. The base is BC, okay? The altitude is FA, and so is the height, okay? See how it's making a 90-degree angle right there. And then with an obtuse triangle, okay, the base is HI, the altitude is LG, and the height is LG. Notice that the base and the altitude are always at a 90 degree angle to each other. Okay, another term that we also have to remember is the median, okay? The median is not necessarily the height, all right? It's the line that goes from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. All right, so we can't always say that it's the height. It's just the line that goes from the vertex to the midpoint of the opposite side. Okay, so we're going to talk about two theorems today. The first one that we're going to talk about is proportional altitudes theorem, okay? It states that if two triangles are similar, then their corresponding altitudes have the same ratio as their corresponding sides, okay? Corresponding means it's in the same spot, okay? So, for example, here they tell us that triangle ABC is similar to EFG and that BD and FH are both altitudes. So what we could say is that this altitude, BD, over the other altitude, FH, could equal the corresponding side over the corresponding side. So for example, like we could have BC over FG, okay? Or we could also have a BA over FE, okay? So just as long as the sides are corresponding, right? Because here I had BA, it has to be in the same spot, FE. And the reason that we can use that is for an indirect measurement, okay? When you're using indirect measurement, you're measuring large items in real life that maybe you couldn't measure, right? So like, for example, if we wanted to know how tall this tree is and, you know, we don't have a tape measure or a ladder to climb up this tree and measure how tall it is. So we're going to use indirect measurement. So what we can see right here is this man is five feet tall and he casts a shadow that is seven feet. Okay. Now, we don't know how tall this tree is, but we do know that the shadow is uh, that it casts is 28 feet. So we can use the proportional altitude theorem to solve for x. Okay, remember we have altitude over altitude, and then it equals corresponding side over corresponding side. So what we could say is that x over 5 is going to equal, and remember I started with x over 5, so now I have to start with 28, is going to equal 28 over 7. So now all I have to do is just cross multiply these. 7 times x is 7x, and then 28 times 5 is 140, and then I divide by 7, and that's going to give me 20. So I know that this tree is 20 feet high, and I didn't even need to actually have a tape measure to measure that. So here we're going to write a proportionality statement for these two triangles, right? Okay? Notice that we have an altitude here, okay, because it's going from the vertex and it's making a right angle right here. So we know it's an altitude, okay? So we know that these two triangles are similar. So with the altitude... With the proportional altitude theorem, we have to use the altitude, okay? So we have to say that QP over KM equals, and then we can pick a corresponding side. So let's say I want to do QR, okay? I can say QR over KL, all right? I can also say Q, so we want to do QP over K KM again, all right? I could also say QS over Kn, all right? And then again, 
using the altitude, I could also say SR over NL. All right, so notice I have to use the altitude every time and then I can pick a corresponding side that it will be proportional to. So here we wanna find X, all right? So here we're given the altitudes, okay, 15 and nine. And then if you notice our corresponding sides that it's given us are ML and RQ. Okay, so we're gonna start with the altitudes. We're gonna say 15 over nine, okay? 15 over nine. So now I wanna come back here and put 30 over X. And so just like I did with the tree, we wanna cross multiply here. 15 times X is 15, uh, 15X. And then I'm gonna take 30 times nine, which is 270. And now I wanna divide by 15 and that's gonna give me 18. So I know that the side length of RQ is 18. Okay, another theorem that we look at is the proportional medians theorem, okay? This one says that if two triangles are similar, then their corresponding medians have the same ratio as their corresponding sides. So this one is just like the proportional altitudes theorem, except now it's given us a median instead of an altitude. So remember, a median is not the height. Notice that this line is not at a 90 degree angle. It goes from the vertex to the midpoint. So what it does is it divides this triangle into two equal sides. Okay, so what we can have here is the median over the median. So that's IK over MO and then corresponding side over corresponding side. And if we notice here, they gave us seven and X. So they gave us IJ. So we could put IJ over MN. So that's what we did here. We took five over eight equals seven over X. So now we're gonna cross multiply. Five times X is five X, seven times eight is 56 and then I'm gonna take 56 and I'm gonna divide that by five and that's gonna give me X equals 11.2. So this side is 11.2 centimeters. Okay, so let's do another example here. All right, this is a median, okay? You can tell that it's a median because it divides the two sides in half, okay? See how it has this hash mark and this hash mark mean that these are equal. These, since this has two and two, we know that those are equal. Okay, so the median is FG. So we're gonna take FG over TU and it's gonna equal, we wanna look at our corresponding sides here. Okay, here they've given us um, FD and TR. So we're gonna use those two sides. Okay, FD over TR. So here we have FG, so we have 16 over TU, which is X. Then we have FD, which is 20, and TR, which is eight. So again, we're gonna cross multiply. We have 20 times X, which is 20 X. And then we're gonna take 16 times eight, which is 128. And now we're going to divide those two by 20. And we're gonna get X equals 6.4. So we know that the median for this triangle is 6.4. Okay, on this one right here, all right, we're given the altitudes, all right? Because notice, see how they, we have the right angle, okay? Here we have a triangle inside of a triangle. We have that JKL is similar to NML, okay? So if we're looking here, okay, we're given the altitude. So remember, altitude over altitude. So we have 26 over 20, okay? This one over this one. Now looky here. The, we did the big number first, right? KJ. So now we wanna put the long side, which is JL. Now, if you notice, we have 2X plus four, and then we have three. So we have to add these two together. So what we have to do is just put four plus three, which is seven, okay? So we have 2X plus seven on the top right there. And then the smaller side is NL. So we have 2X plus four on that side, okay? So now I'm gonna put these in parentheses because so that we remember that we have to multiply the 26 times 2X, okay? So that's 26 times two, which is 52. So we have 52X and then 26 times four, which is 104. Then we're gonna take 20 times 2X, which is 40X, and then 20 times seven, oh, that's not an equal sign, which is plus 140, okay? So now we're gonna minus 40X from both sides, 
Okay, and that's going to give us 12x plus 104 equals 140. And now we're going to minus 104 on both sides. And that's going to give us 12x. When we take 140 minus 104, that's going to give us 36. So we divide by 12 and we get x equals 3. Okay, and that's what it told us to find, x equals 3. Now, if it asked us to find the side length of one of them, right, we would just plug x back in here. The side of nl would be 2 times 3, which is 6, plus 4 is 10. So that side would be 10, and the side length of jl would be 13. And that's the end of indirect, indirect measurement, part 1.